Love and diligently practice kindness and compassion and walk humbly with your God, setting aside any self-pride or self-righteousness. That's what God wants you to do. And the next one's shorter. What does God require of us? Act justly, love others with grace and mercy and walk in humility and purity with your God. Regular church attendance is very important because that's what Jesus would do. Giving the tithe through your local church is very important because that's what Jesus would do. Whatever your gross income is, anytime you come into extra money, I always tell the truth, at least since I've been born again. I was pastoring a church in uh, Woodman, Wisconsin, just outside of Prairie du Chien, Wisconsin. And my mom died, and I inherited $100,000. What's the first thing I did? Of the 100000 I wrote out a check for $10,000 to my church. You think God's kidding about all this stuff? Forgive your neighbor. Forgive those who hurt you. In summary, we're at the end and some of you are saying, yay! Are you willing to do what Jesus would do? Here's my top ten list. To obey God 100%, no matter what he says. To study the Bible daily, even a page a day, sitting it on the back of your toilet. To pray in a quiet prayer place and develop an intimate relationship with Jesus to serve God by serving the church. And God says, bring the full tithe into the storehouse. Doing what Jesus would do means come to church every Sunday and Sunday school at 9. Go forth outside the church and win souls for Christ. 8. Be ready for the return of Jesus for the final judgment, you and your whole family. Nine, forgive everyone who has sinned against you and pray for those who have hurt you. And ten, love unconditionally. Your family and your friends and every person that God puts into your life. A new commandment I give you, to love each other like I have loved you. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for the opportunity to come into your throne room and ask for help to do what Jesus would do. Jesus, we thank you for dying on the cross and earning our salvation because we couldn't earn it by ourselves. And after Jesus went back to heaven, the Father and the Son sent back the Holy Spirit. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, we can do what Jesus said to do. Give us the willingness to walk in his word and act like his ambassadors in this world everywhere we go. Amen.